So guys, today back for another video on the channel today. We're here for the Newcastle United vs Manchester City predicted team. It's a massive game, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. If you haven't watched the preview already, I put at the top, there'll be a link in the description and on the end screen. So if you haven't watched the preview already, watch this video and on the end screen, the preview will be there. But today I will do my predicted team for the game versus Man City. Do we stay at a four back? Do we go to a five back? You'll see in the video. Make sure to leave a like, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it now. My predicted team. So this is my predicted team for the game versus Manchester City. A formation change. Five at the back. I feel like Bruce will go to a five at the back. Even though we haven't lost a game with a 4-2-3-1. Uh, with injuries as well. I think Fabian Cher will come in for me. Uh, he hasn't played in a very long time and it'll be nice to see him come into the team. And I think he will go to a five at the back. So we'll start off with Ingo, Martin Dubravka. Uh, obviously Martin will uh, start when he should start because obviously Bruce has been playing uh, Darlow in every cup game apart from the first game against Rochdale away from home. So surely he won't start Darlow. I pray to God that he doesn't. Right wing back, Javier Mankiw, great to see him sign a new deal, and for me, he does start over Yedlin and Kraft. Centre backs, as I said, Fabian Shaw for me plays. With Isaac Hayden being injured, you don't have that like defensive midfielder. And if, say, if we are, I don't know, say if we're losing the game 1 0 and there's 15 minutes left, we could always just put Shaw into a centre mid and just get it with four back. It's that easy. That's all we need to do. And then push Shelby to a calm and play CDM, Shaw and Bentaleb if we really needed to. So that's the reason why I think Fabian Shea does play because uh, he can play centre mid, centre back. Uh, he, he played centre mid again to think it was Bubba in the, in the friendly match before the season came back. But I think Fabian Shea starts centre back with Fernandez and Lascelles who have started every game so far. Left wing back, ideally Jetmo Williams, but obviously as we all know he's injured and he's still recovering. Obviously he's only on, he's only on loan and his loan hasn't been extended, so obviously Jetmo's not going to play another game for Newcastle this season. And he would work perfectly for this formation. He scored against Man City when we drew 2-2 to them this season. Danny Rose is not really a left wing back. If Richie being injured as well, I think Rose... I think Rose will just play as a left back. He won't get up the field as much, but when he needs to, he will get up. Um, obviously, Rose is not a left wing back. Jet Williams is a left wing back, and that's why it'll be good to have Jet and Danny Rose because then you've got two different left backs uh, in different formations, which can really help the team. Gabriel Bentaleb comes in. Uh, probably thinking no Hayden. I don't think Hayden will be fit for the game. Uh, same with Matt Ritchie. So I'll put Bentaleb and John Drushelvy in if. Hayden was fit, I'm pretty sure Isaac Hayden would start the game versus Man City, but there's no point risking players uh, when we've got so many games coming up. We might as well just play Ben Leb and see what you can do. Obviously, Miguel Amaron's been so obviously Miguel Amaron's been performing so much better in the centre attack and midfield role, but in this formation there is no cams. So I think Almond will be on the left and Maximin on the right. And they'll change over like what Richie and Maximin were doing for Sheffield United and it worked. Keep swapping, get the defenders, get the fullbacks confused of Man City. Uh, I think Almiron, he's not a winger. He, he hasn't really scored any goals or got any assists from the wing when we've been playing a five-back. So let's hope that he can produce something even though he's on the wing. Maximin obviously starts, he's unbelievable, he'll do bits. And the big one, striker. I've put Andy Cavill in, nothing to do with Joel Linton. This has got nothing to do with Joel Linton. It does a little bit, but it's not. Be I haven't benched him because of Joel Linton's performance. I feel like it's the right time to bring Andy Cavill in. I think Andy Cavill will bring us that little difference in this big game in the quarterfinal. He's powerful, he's strong. But don't get us wrong, if Joel Linton starts, I won't be disappointed, but... He needs to be getting goals in the Premier League, Joel Linton, and I think we should keep him for Bournemouth away from home on Wednesday night. So I feel like for me, you've got to play Andy Cavill. He signed his new contract, he'll be buzzing. It's the right time to start Andy Cavill, in my opinion, and you play him up top. So that is the end of the predicted team. Make sure I watch the preview. Massive game tomorrow. We'll have the videos out tomorrow like normal. Make sure to leave a like, lads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We just hit 7.5k subs as well, so it does mean a lot. Obviously. Before all this stuff happened, it was really hard to make videos and the channel wasn't growing and I feel like my channel was going somewhere but just before the pandemic started. So it, it it's life, it happened. But thanks for 7.5k lads, the videos have been doing well with fo football coming back. So lads, I'll say this for the game tomorrow, how are the lads?